Let me introduce my crewmate, MC, rapper, poet, music producer, and my good brother, Abhimanyu Raman, also known as Earth Prime. Yo! Thanks for the intro. Thanks for the intro, you cricket. So, that's our mascot, that's our dear brother, the dead crow. And we are street academics and we are glitch collective. Yeah, they're pointing at you. So, our story started way before any of us knew that this story was going to start. Way before, yes. So, it was uh, at different points of time. If you read a book that is uh, multiple narratives to a single story, you would not see a single person's perspective, so to speak. So ours is like that. Some of us came in the early 1000s, 2000s. Some of us in the late 2000s. Late 2000s. Yes, late 2000s. Some of us came what seems like yesterday. But the thing is, we are here and we are here for each other. And yeah. the story keeps on going. Back to you. So, uh, I've actually prepared a song for all of you today. I wrote this uh, day before yesterday. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. uh, so, this is a fusion of uh, two genres. Basically, it goes like... That is the poor man's belly beat and uh, Kerala's favorite toddy songs and the uh, all incredible toddy itself. Okay, so I also want all of you guys to sing along with me, that's the only way this is gonna work. Okay, so when I say, you guys have to just clap, because it goes on an off period, clap, and then say, tala til, tala til, tala til. okay, and then when I say, and then say melatil, melatil, melatil. So there's like two things. Talatil, 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 and then melatil, melatil, melatil. Okay, let's try this, yeah? Uh, Brian? Yo, yo. Take it away. Kaludi Talatil, talatil, talatil. Talatil, talatil, talatil. Talatil, talatil, Kaludian <laughs> Some don't even know a job. 
So uh, my parents actually gave me a choice, like you do whatever you want, whatever you like. And deep inside, I knew that uh, creating something new excited me, be it music, movies, or choreography. And what gave me most happiness and I was so comfortable in was writing new songs and making music. So today, we are into creative content production. Meaning, we make new age music, music videos, fusing the best of what India has to offer with the best of the world. This is the real Make in India happening right here. Okay? Because this product is consumed and monetized all over the globe. And we do this with the least emission of CO2 or uh, you know any sort of pollution. We barely uh, need petrol or kerosene to make music. Okay? Sometimes, sometimes we do burn a little bit of plants for inspiration. <laughs> Over to you, Mr. Grime. Yes, we are very eco-friendly. I can attest to that. My name being Bob Grime. Uh, Grime! Yes, yes. But uh, back to, you know, more serious things. We are what you would call a DIY, DIY, do-it-yourself project. Not a project, it's a collective or a crew, whatever you want to call it. So everything that we create today, we learn how to do it by ourselves. Yeah. Each one, each one, then preach and then go on and go and so forth. Exactly. Yeah. Like, he was my first introduction to the world of sound engineering and music production. A few years later, I went ahead and became a sound engineer myself. And now, I'm trying to become him, or something more than him. Which is very difficult, because the kind of music that he makes is something even after six years of knowing him, that I can't make. Very difficult. Uh, I think all we need nowadays is a broken laptop, little bit of internet, and the willpower and courage to steal. <laughs> because uh, because uh, most of the struggling third world musicians and their careers have to be dedicated to LimeWire, BitTorrent, and X videos. <laughs> because they need inspiration too. Just baby doll is not going to do the job. It's not, it's not going to. So once someone famous said that good artists borrow, meaning they copy. And great artists, they steal. You know who said this? I guess it was Pablo Picasso. Khalil Gibran. Maybe. So, Pablo Picasso. Okay. He should have done his degree first. Then maybe, side mein, little bit of painting and all this work buddy. <laughs> so, our crew member Asuran once said that it's all a remix of a remix of a remix. There's nothing fresh under the sun. It's all been said and done, is what he said. So, uh, we don't steal though. We call it sampling. <laughs> so, the guy who came up with the concept of street academics, his name is Rajiv M. He calls himself RJV Ernesto and he has many alter egos as an artist. His current persona as a rapper is called Pakarcha Vyadi, Epidemic Maga. Okay. So he grew up in a very different background compared to all of us. He grew up in Palakkad and during his school days he used to select elements of different songs like maybe like a boom from a Devarajan master song and a tang from a Elay Raja song and a flute. A flute, and then he would combine all these in a very different way, recombine them and reorganize them to make a completely new song. It goes like something like boom, tang, 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 this guy didn't know that he was actually doing an old school way of producing hip hop until he got access to the internet many years later. Okay? So, uh, 
what it really means that it's not about where you come from or what you have been told. It's about where you want to be and what you want to try and keep doing for the rest of your life. I really wish I could make music for world peace or something like that. Or, yeah, no, no, I, I won't go there, no. <laughs> what he really wants to make music is not something you would want to know. Okay, no. so, my brother, my real sibling, he is and I think he will be my most favorite critic. So he keeps asking me, why you guys have to struggle like this and you know, uplift hip hop in India. Like, why can't you make something more catchy? You know what the word catchy is? Hey, bro, the song is so catchy. <laughs> so, uh, he asked us, why don't you make something that the majority of people would like? So, 99%. I, yeah, so I, I thought for a second and I, uh, you know, a few seconds and I came back with this. That, bro, what, what do you think is majority? 51% of the people could be called majority. Okay, so what about the rest, the 49 percentage? So I believe that if the 49 percentage of people are with you, you can be pretty successful. Okay, you can make a big living out of this and you're pretty set right there. Okay, forget about 49 percentage. I wish at least if I can convince one percentage of the whole Earth's population. According to Google, one percentage of the population means 77 million people, man. So if 77 people million million people can give me one rupee each for my song, then I'm still very, very sorted, like set, bully bitch. <laughs> You're millionaires, basically, if that happens. And we're slowly getting there. So, Believe me, we are slowly getting there. So all I have to say, you guys, is that, you know, if our music can convince all of you guys gathered here and add you into my one percentage master plan, then, that's enough for me. Thank you. Thank you.